Why would someone think about retirement in Mexico? Well, maybe because prices are 61% less than in the US, or because Mexico has so many international airports that it's easier to visit some parts of America if you live in Mexico City than if you live in Chicago, or because some Mexican regions have a climate that is way better than what one would have in places like Minnesota or Illinois. Maybe people choose Mexico because of the food or because of the friendly people. And what if I told you that Mexico has a special visa with advantages for foreigners willing to retire there? The problem is, when we talk about moving to Mexico and living there, there is always one obstacle. An issue that might be a deal breaker. The violence. Because Mexico in general is a violent place. But Mexico is not some collapsed state where violence is everywhere, like South Africa or Venezuela. In Mexico there are places that are as safe as Europe, and way safer than American cities like Baltimore, Milwaukee or Philadelphia. So today, in the next 12 minutes, you will discover the safest places to retire in Mexico. But we don't want to tell you to go live in the middle of nowhere, so we identified the safest places to live in Mexico by starting with locations that have large expat communities. Then we checked crime rates, crime severity, violence maps, population statistics, world city rankings, and other safety data for each city from various sources. So this episode might have a lot of data and statistics, but I promise it will not be boring. The first city in our top 7 of the safest places to retire in Mexico is San Miguel de Allende, in the state of Guanajuato. The first impression someone has after arriving in San Miguel de Allende is that there are a lot of foreigners there. The city is around 4 hours distant from Mexico City, and is home to about 10,000 expats from around the world. It has a lot of German and American communities, especially above 50 years old. English is widely spoken, making it easier for foreigners to assimilate into the culture. Expats love San Miguel de Allende for its relaxed lifestyle and charming Spanish colonial architecture. It's not a city for beach lovers, since it's a bit far from the coast, but the area has a pleasant climate and warm days with cool nights year-round. Mexicans might tell you that due to the influx of foreigners, San Miguel de Allende became expensive, but if you compare it to the US, it's still quite cheap. For example, the living costs in Newark, New Jersey, are way higher than there, and the homicide rate in Newark is 35% higher than in San Miguel de Allende. So if you are from Newark, in San Miguel de Allende, you would be safer and richer. This house with a swimming pool has a monthly rent of 23,000 pesos, or less than $1,400. For that price, you would get at best, a studio in a crime-ridden zone in Newark. In 60 places in Senada, in Baja California, this coastal city is often referred to as the Napa Valley of Mexico. With numerous vineyards, Senada has attracted expats and renowned chefs. The city has a famous culinary scene where fresh seafood is the highlight. Senada is situated on the Baja California Peninsula, about 70 miles south of the San Diego-Tijuana border. Some people might ask, why include Senada here? Since Baja California is quite a violent state, and Ensenada does not have the best numbers. But since the region is very close to the border with the US, most of the crime is actually border related, and they often don't affect people living in the city. Its closeness to the United States has led to a sizable community of American expats and remote workers, and it's easy to understand why. Ensenada is 52% cheaper than San Diego, literally less than half of the price. To put into perspective, this beautiful house in one of the best districts of Ensenada goes for only 38,000 Mexican pesos per month. This is less than $2,300. This is what you get in San Diego for $2,300, $2,395 actually, and while the house in Ensenada has 2,500 square feet, this one has 700. Living in Ensenada also means enjoying almost perfect weather through the year. As a coastal city, temperatures usually range from 60 to 80 or 15 to 27 Celsius. And in 50 place is also a coastal city, Puerto Vallarta, located in the state of Jalisco. Expats find that Puerto Vallarta has many welcoming locals. No has one of the safest beach towns in Mexico. It offers white sand beaches, a vibrant nightlife, and the famous Church of Our Lady of Guadalupe. The homicide rate in Puerto Vallarta is 9.1 which is comparable to American cities like Phoenix or Denver. However, the costs are way lower. Denver is 88% more expensive than Puerto Vallarta, so things there cost almost twice. 
You can live in this apartment with swimming pool access in Puerto Vallarta for less than $900 per month. You hear it right, $900. The low living costs, the relative safety and the mix of modern amenities and nice beaches make it a top choice for retirees and remote workers. Puerto Vallarta has a lively expat community with around 15,000 for riders living there year-round. These are the impressions of one American expat who lived in Puerto Vallarta. Open quote. I lived in Vallarta for a year and was devastated to have to come back to the US. I always felt safer and I loved the people so much. I went for walks every day and became so used to Buenos Dias that when I came back it was a shock to me when I would walk around Seattle and nobody says hello. End quote. Well, I understand you, mi amigo. In fourth place is Mazatlan, in Sinaloa. It's the northernmost resort city of the 20 cities along the stunning Mexican Riviera on the Pacific coast. About 10,000 riders live there, and Mazatlan is also a big city with a beautiful coast. But the main advantage of this city is the lower cost of living compared to other Mexican cities, making it a favorite among foreigners. There is some violence in the outskirts of the town due to narco activity, but this mostly doesn't affect the residents of the city itself. It's a city much safer than the Mexican average, with a homicide rate of 8.4 per 100,000 residents per year. This is the same as Boston in the US, for example, but when you compare prices, Boston is 146% more expensive. So the standard of life that you would need $7,000 per month to afford in Boston, in Mazatlan, will cost you less than $2,400. You can live in an apartment with swimming pool access there for 13,000 pesos, or $780. The third place in our ranking goes to Chapala, in Jalisco. Chapala is a, a region, actually, that also comprises a town in a valley of the Sierra Madre Mountains, located in the northern edge of Mexico's largest lake, the Lake Chapala. With a population of 56,000, serious crime is very rare there. The homicide rate per 100,000 people per year is only 3.5. This is less than Latvia in Europe, and way less than the US. To put it to perspective, the homicide rate in the US is 6.4, but this is the average. Larger cities in the US tend to be even more violent. Philadelphia, for example, has a homicide rate above 20. That means that in Philly, chances of being murdered are 570% higher than in Chapala. Maybe for this reason, this safe lakeside Mexican area has attracted a community of 20,000 expatriates. Most expats in Chapala come from the US and Canada. Some live there for only six months each year, including many retirees. The weather is beautiful or, as the telegraph wrote, glorious. The region also has hot springs from the geothermal activity of the Volcano Crater Lake, make it feel like a spa retreat. A nice apartment, already furnished, with a coveted view of the Lake Chapala, will cost you only 13,000 pesos, $780 per month to rent. Or if you want to buy it, will cost $125,000. Honolulu in Hawaii has safety levels comparable to Chapala, but you need to pay the double to buy this much less impressive home. I think the one in Chapala is way better, but that's just my opinion. Now time for the last two cities in our ranking, but before we begin it, I would like to ask for a small favor. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. In second place is a very small city, with only 5,000 residents, and that explains why their homicide rate is zero. Nobody was killed there. We are talking about Sayulita, in the state of Nayarit, a family-oriented town with only 5,000 full thousand residents. This hidden gem rarely sees violent crime and has very little petty crime. This peaceful surf town is nested between mountains and dense jungle on Mexico's western coast, just an hour drive from the busier Puerto Vallarta that we already mentioned. Sayulita's laid-back, yet quiet vibe has attracted many Canadian and American immigrants. It's an ideal place for nature lovers, wildlife enthusiasts, and those who enjoy spending time outdoors. However, due to the small size, it might be a bit more difficult to find a place to rent or buy there. And now time for the first place, which, if you are familiar with Mexico, I think you might have guessed it already. If not, pause this video for a minute, try to guess, and tell me in the comment section which city you think is the safest place to retire in Mexico. Are you ready? So, the first place is for Merida, in Yucatan. 
but it is close to the Caribbean and just a few hours drive from the Riviera Maya, which includes popular spots like Playa del Carmen and Toulouse. In fact, some of you might question why I didn't put Playa del Carmen in this ranking. The fact is that Playa del Carmen is not bad, but it became relatively expensive and the huge tourism flow created some issues. Merida, on the other hand, is not as touristy as Playa del Carmen or Cancun, because it's not a beach city, it's 35 kilometers from the coast, despite having more than 1 million people. Some parts of the city have a small town vibe, and it's very safe. I mean, European levels of safety. The city is consistently ranked as one of the safest major cities in Mexico. Even petty crimes like pickpocketing are rare. The homicide rate in Merida is only 1.5 per 100,000 residents per year. This is similar to countries like Finland or the United Kingdom. It's 77 persons lower than the US. If we compare it to American cities, Merida is safer than Austin in Texas or San Diego in California, but the prices are so much lower. Austin has a cost of living 82% more expensive than Merida, while San Diego is 113% more expensive. A large apartment with three rooms, three bathrooms, two parking spaces and access to a swimming pool costs only $930 per month. There are other smaller options with only two bedrooms that are even cheaper. In San Diego in the US, you will not find anything for less than $1,000. In fact, the cheapest place there is only a studio and costs $1,550. So due to lower prices and good quality of life, Merida is one of the favorite choices for expats. Around 10,000 foreigners live in Merida and its modern suburbs and historic downtowns are full of excellent restaurants, cafes, shops and parks. As the lively capital of the Yucatan state, it's a very historical city. The city center, Plaza de la Independencia, is bordered by the fortress-like Merida Cathedral and the white limestone Iglesia de la Tercera Orden are some of the main landmarks. There are also some Maya ruins not far from there. Now, do you know that there are a few other countries in Latin America that also offer retirement visas for foreigners willing to enjoy their excellent weather and low living costs? Discover in this video here at your left the countries in Latin America that are inviting foreigners to retire there.